Hey, 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 everybody. This is Erika, and I am back again. We are hitting off this new year with some awful, terrifying news. It has to do with earthquakes. And you know, I talked about China and their big, awful earthquake that they had. And apparently, Mr. Mrs. Him, They, Them, This Earthquake decided it was going to make a visit to Japan and it hit on the peninsula of Ishikawa and this is a place that is actually very close to the earth faults and these faults are what cause earthquakes and they decided they were going to move and separate and all of a sudden here comes this earthquake and people were warned that it was coming I just don't think that there was any warning for what transpired and how all of it just came crumbling down and what would happen after all of the ruin. So they said that it really started around like 4, 10 p.m. And there's video if you search on Twitter, on YouTube, on the interwebs of just stuff shaking. People are at temples and the pagodas, the statues that are around the temples are shaking and people are like, oh, oh. there was this one video of this woman, she was in the car. And she literally was watching the stone pavement come apart. And she was like, eh? I wouldn't have been like, eh. I would have been like, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No, none, none of this. No. I would have ran. I would have ran so fast. They would have thought that Korea had come back for revenge for all the stuff that Japan has done over the years in history. The show, the statue's falling over. I don't know what was going through these people's head. I don't know. It might have been shock because the things were shaking and the people were like, like Godzilla had come back. Like they were frozen in fear. And then they finally were like, oh my God, when it, tum it tumbles over. And I'm like, I would have moved way before then. I kid you not. Subway station signs shaking people inside of stores and stuff is falling over there shows girls grabbing each other and they're trying to crouch down i would have ran i do not want to be inside of any type of place closed in when a, 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 an earthquake is supposed to be coming i'm gonna get mush something's gonna collapse on me and so all this was going on, neighborhoods were destroyed, buildings, businesses. And luckily, many people did get to shelters. There were people that did run outside and they tried to find higher ground or places that they could go. And then on the flip side of that, the sad news is that the death toll is rising up 
and the Japanese government is trying really hard to find people that might be trapped under the rubble. They have all these people that are the rescue teams that are trying their hardest to find whoever they can, but they're mostly finding bodies. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat that. The death toll started at 40, then it was 55. Now it's over 60 people have passed away. And that is, it seems kind of low, but it would be nice if it wasn't that many casualties and for family members to once again have to go and identify their loved ones. So we think, okay, all this has happened. You've scared people halfway to death, Mr. Mrs. Him, They, Them. But no, it starts having aftershocks. And what does the aftershock cause along with this big earth fault that's right next to this location? Tsunamis. So right after that, they're issuing tsunami warnings. The government and the media is telling people, get to higher ground, get on top of buildings. I'm looking like, what building? The, the building that toppled over. They, they're showing build, the building on the side. What building? I'm not getting up on top of a building. Building been fell over. <laughs> I'm going to be dead. No. Mm -mm. I want none of that. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Not with... So the waves are coming in on the beach. They're in the roads and everything. This is making it harder for the rescue team to go and try to rescue people. This is a chaotic situation. And it, it's just like, oh, this is a lot. This, this is a whole lot. Like, why? Why do we have to start off the year like this? This is just... Ugh, it's like, what is this signifying? Oh, my goodness. And so, now we have many people that are trying to string everything back together. People trying to see the state of their neighborhoods, their houses, their businesses. There are many people that cannot get to where they used to live or they can't even recognize where they used to live because their inferno fire is bursting up all over the place in all these different locations we're getting like overhead shots from helicopters of just ruin nothing crumbled up buildings fires bursting up and then meanwhile we got people online that are sending out fake posts on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying that the earthquake was man-made and was caused by a man-made machine. Oh, Lord, have mercy, please. This is not the time. <laughs> like, this is, not, this is not the time at all. And then I'm laughing because there were people that actually had the audacity to put tweets out saying that they're under the rubble. There were some people <laughs> that were saying, help me, oh, my leg, help, I can't get up. I've fallen under the rubble and I can't get up. <laughs> oh my God, I had to go help them. So they're putting out locations that don't exist. So once again, Japanese government had to run and do a newscast segment and say, Please stop doing this. You are slowing down the process of us actually trying to rescue people. Please do not go on the internet and put all these fake posts out. I'm like, people have no lives. You don't have nothing else better to do. You, you can't have nothing else better to do. Because this is a serious situation. There are people out. Even now, as we speak, they're probably clinging on to dear life that actually need help and are actually screaming for help that are trapped under their houses, trapped under a tree, a building, a pachinko parlor. I don't know. You know, it's... it's and so with people trying to help, we have this cargo plane that was trying to deliver supplies to the people that were victims of this earthquake. Because, mind you, this is an earthquake that was magnitude number seven. They haven't had an earthquake this bad in years. They haven't had a tsunami really bad since, what, like 2018? And so we still got the government trying to do whatever they can. 
So somehow this small aircraft with the supplies lands on a runway for a airplane <laughs> that's supposed to be landing in Tokyo Airport. There's this plane that was supposed to be landed. I don't know why it landed there. I don't know how nobody saw it. But a plane with over 360 people goes down, tries to land. And part of the plane, the wing propeller hits this other plane. And it just goes up in flames. It explodes, basically. Meanwhile, we have all these passengers on this plane. And there is actually video of the people that are on the plane. And they're looking out the window and seeing flames outside the window. And they like... <laughs> <laughs> Smoke's filling up <laughs> the plane. The people are like, well, what was that bump? Like, we, we thought we were so safe. We we supposed to be landing in Tokyo. We supposed to go on, you know, go on home, go on about our lives, enjoy our trips, whatever it may be. No, the plane catches on fire. The other the aircraft with the supplies basically disintegrates. Six people end up perishing. The... The driver of the plane, the pilot, he does survive, but he is all damaged up. Just burns for days. I'm grateful that nobody on the actual plane with the passengers, all those people were hurt. And it was because of the crew. They knew what they were doing. They knew what door to open up and how to get all those people out of there. And it was really a miracle because of how the plane was created. There was this carbon material that actually trapped the flames of the collision of the two planes in one spot. It was for about at least five to ten minutes. And that was enough time to get everybody off of the plane. Had that not happened, those people would not be here right now. They would be very much charred up and, you know, seeing the Heavenly Father. So I'm glad that the crew worked and they knew, you know, can't go out through there. Oh, I see fumes in it. It looked like the handle's disintegrating and melting. Oh, they got to be flames over there. Can't go out that side. Okay, let's go out here. Okay, everybody, let's go. Come on now. Time was to get on out of here. They got out of there just in time and the flames ended up spreading. Everybody was saved. We have a lot of different accounts from different people on the plane that were saying that, you know, we thought our lives were over. Because it was getting hot in there. We were seeing fumes. We're looking outside. We're seeing the flames. We thought it was over for us, but we got out of there and we're grateful that we got out of there. There's a mystery here, and it has to do with why was that cargo plane there? And why was it that the people on the lookout that are working for the airport didn't see this plane as this big plane with all these people is landing? What was going on here? Who ordered this? And how did nobody not see this plane? The plane is smaller than the actual passenger plane with all the people on it. But someone should have seen this plane. Who ordered this and why? And how did you all not know that the plane with all the people was about to touch down? 
this is weird. It's very, very weird. And it's disheartening. And it is scary. Because it's like, you all need to do your jobs correctly. So now you have people that are traumatized. They want answers. And I don't blame them. The family should want answers. Everybody should want answers. The family of the deceased should want answers. What went on here to cause this to happen? Someone fumbled the ball and was not doing their job correctly. It messed this whole thing up. People that died, a lot more people could have died. But thankfully, there were people on that plane that knew how to do their job. And I applaud them. Because otherwise, we would have had a whole lot of casualties. More than this. So I want to know, what is the truth? What happened? That's what I want to know. I'm with the, the passengers of this plane. Like we, They want to know what happened. One man was like, I am not going to fly on another plane until I know fully laid out on the table what happened. And I, I'm, I'm with him on that. I want to know. You, you all need to go and investigate this. Who messed up? Somebody did. Because this right here is unacceptable. It is not okay. This is not okay at all. So, you guys, this is a lot to think about. Put below how you feel about this whole topic. I love to read some of your opinions and your stances on this. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, my blog, New Station Pop Culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real, and I <laughs> will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.